This is lesson 20 homework, module 7, grade 2. Write your name. Don't write Percy unless your name is Percy. Solve using tape diagrams. So we're going to be drawing tape diagrams for all of these. Use a symbol for the unknown. And our symbol could just be a question mark. We're used to using those. Luann has a piece of ribbon that is one yard long. She cuts off 33 inches to tie a gift box. How many inches of ribbon are not used? So here's our ribbon. It's one yard. And she cuts off 33 inches. tie a gift box and then there's gonna be a bit of it that's not used not used so the whole yard we know a yard is three feet which is and a foot is 12 inches 12 12 12 the whole ribbon is three twelves long so that's 10 20, 30, and that's 2, 4, 6, so that's 36 inches. We know this is 33 that was cut, so we have 36 minus 33, that equals 3. So we could call, we could call this part here, this is our question mark, that's our symbol for the unknown, so that equals And I put N for not used. There's our question mark. And our question mark equals three. So uh, three inches of ribbon are not used. Elijah runs 68 yards in a 100-yard race. How many more yards does he have to run? So he's not done with the race yet. So the whole race is 100 yards. He hasn't run the whole thing yet, but 68 is more than half, so I'm going to make it a little bit longer than half. That's 68 Y yards, yards, and this, uh, we don't know. So we subtract that from 100, 100 minus 68 equals question mark. And we can use the arrow way to add that up, right? Just one of them, you could do this vertically. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. I'm just going to use the arrow way for an example. Uh, I'll first, I'll subtract the 60. And this may be the way you do it mentally. Subtract the 60 first, that gets you to 40. And then from the 40, then you subtract 8 more, and you get 32. So, Elijah has... 32 yards left to run. Chris has a 57 inch piece of string and another piece that is 15 inches longer than the first. What is the total length of both strings? So there's a, a few different tape diagrams you could draw for this but here's the first one that's 57 and then he has another piece that's 15 inches longer than that so it's another 57 plus another 15 
So it's the same as that one, plus another 15. Remember, that was 57, right? And this is, the, this is the first piece of string, and this is the second piece of string. It's 57 and 15 more. And now the whole thing is our question mark. Right, this is the first string. Now you don't really have to figure out what the first string is, but you could, uh, and then add it to this, or you could just add all three numbers at once. Uh, you could do it vertically, 57, 57 and 15. And you could add them all up like that. 7 and 7 is 14. 5 more is 19. I'm going to have to bundle a 10. And now I can add my 10s. 2 5s is 10. 11, 12. 12 10s is 120. Right, so there's, you know, there'll be like 100 up there. With two tens left, 129. So, and I could write, or I could write this out as an equation too. 57 plus 57 plus 15 equals 129. And then we need our answer. Chris has 129 inches of string. go to our next page. Janine knitted 12 inches of a scarf on Friday and 36 inches on Saturday. She wants the scarf to be 72 inches long. How many more inches does she need to knit? So it's not long enough yet. The whole thing has to be 72, right? Here's my tape for 72. And then she has, but what she has is going to be shorter, right? She knitted some on Friday. This is Friday. Uh, that was 30, that was 12. And 36 on Saturday. And she needs this much more. That's what we have to figure out. That's our question mark. So, 12 plus 36 plus our question mark equals the whole, this whole thing has to be the same as the 72. So all that added together is going to be the same as the 72. So what do we already have? This piece here is 12 plus 36. I'm just looking at the digits. That's eight ones and four tens, so that's 48. So to figure that out, I could subtract, or I could use the arrow way to add up 48 and see what I have to add to it. Plus two will get me to 50. And then I could say, oh, I just need one, two more tens and two ones. So that's 22. Right, because 50 and 22 should be 72, right? And that's where I'm going to stop. And then I can see what I added, the, tw the 22 and the 2. That makes 24. So this is going to have to be 24. Janine needs 24 more inches. The total length of all three sides of a triangle, total length of all three sides of a triangle is 120 feet. Two sides of the triangle are the same length. One of the equal sides measures 50 feet. So here they gave us the picture. There's the triangle. There's the question mark. So it looks like these are the two equal sides. 
One of them is 50 feet. 50 feet. FT for feet. So if they're equal, and if this is 50, then that is also 50, because they're equal sides. So we have two 50s, and then this one here. What is the length of the side that is not equal? So we know that the total length of all three sides is 120 feet. So for my tape diagram, that's the whole thing is 120. And I know I have a 50 there, 50 feet. I know they should look pretty much the same, but it's okay. 50 feet and then this much more, that's the question mark. So it's these three sides added together, 120. And that's the one we don't know. The two 50s add up to 100. And the whole thing is 120, so this has to be 20 feet, right? Because 50 plus 50 plus question mark equals 120. So the length of the side that is not equal We'll call it the third side is 20 feet long. The length of one side of a square is three yards. What is the combined length of all four sides of the square? So. I'm going to draw a picture, because they gave us a picture here, but I'm going to draw one anyway, and then I'll have a tape diagram too. So one side is three yards. Three yards. Three yards. Three yards. Three. I'm using YD as an abbreviation for yard. So that's three yards all around. The combined length of all four sides of the square, because all four sides, all four sides of a square are the same. That's how we know that they're all threes. If we know one, we know what all of them are, because that's the rule about squares. So the combined length of all four sides. And so we have our piece of tape, and we have to use. Uh, these are all three, 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 three. And our question mark, our unknown, is how long is all of them put together? Three plus three plus three plus three equals question mark. And so all four sides. Four sides say all four sides total. Total, and don't forget units here. Twelve yards.